Well, dog owners are panicking across the nation because of a contagious respiratory illness that has sickened thousands of dogs and some have even died. Yeah, we've heard how serious it is. Now Central Texas pet owners are wondering if their dogs are at any risk of the so-called mysterious dog illness. Six News' Sydney Deshawn spoke with the dog expert and multiple veterinarians to verify what you need to know. She joins us now in studio. Sydney? Chris and Lindsay, while there is still lots of, lots of research being done, there are confirmed cases in New Hampshire, Oregon, California, and Washington. But what about here in Central Texas? Let's verify. From coast to coast, states across the country are seeing multiple cases of a mysterious respiratory illness found in dogs. But what about cases in the Lone Star State? It's a question pet owners need answered. So let's verify, has the respiratory illness in dogs hit Texas? Our source is Jessica Fisher, who is a certified professional canine nutritionist. Six News also reached out to several dog clinics. They all confirmed there have been no cases in Central Texas yet, but that doesn't mean your pet is off the hook. We're very likely to see it. I just don't think it is spreading as quickly as as a lot of people are suggesting. Fisher says it's been around for about a year now. We originally thought it was a virus. It now appears to be a bacteria that we previously did not know of. While there are still lots of unknowns, there are things you can look out for. Your dog is going to be lethargic, maybe a loss of appetite, and then a cough is going to start. But different from a kennel cough, this cough is wet. It can lead into pneumonia, which leads into stays at the ICU vet, the ER vet that can be very, very expensive. And sadly, a few dogs have lost their lives. Experts recommend avoiding large groups of dogs because it can be easily transmitted. If we can avoid dog parks, we can avoid uh, boarding your animal. Most importantly, Fisher says you must take care of your dog's gut health. If we can get our dogs on a, a, you know, a balanced fresh food diet, if we can onboard probiotics now and ahead of time, there are bodies are going to be in much better shape to be able to handle anything that comes their way. So we can verify no, there are no reported cases in Central Texas yet, but it's important to take precautions now before it's too late. Now, if you have something you would like verified, you can just email us at verify at KCENTV.com, guys. Yeah, learned a lot from that segment. All right, thanks so much. Yeah.